Greetings homesteaders and wannabe homesteaders. Today, we're embarking on a journey through the lush lands of South Carolina, uncovering why it stands as the ultimate destination for those seeking to cultivate their dreams of self-sufficiency and harmony with nature. South Carolina is and always has been a fertile, welcoming land for anyone trying to reap benefits from the land. Native Americans farmed here, colonialists farmed here, and even in 2024, large and small tracts of land are farmed by individuals and companies alike. Let's delve into the top 10 compelling reasons why South Carolina reigns supreme for homesteading, offering a blend of fertile ground, favorable climate, and thriving communities. First and foremost is South Carolina's long-time commitment to homesteading. Rooted in centuries of tradition, South Carolina's cultural heritage infuses homesteading with depth and meaning. From Gullah Geechee farming practices along the coast to Appalachian folk traditions in the mountains, history comes alive. You can visit historical sites around the state that showcase the agricultural traditions of the state. Many crops have been raised here for a long time, from tobacco to corn, soybeans, and melons. Juicy, delicious peaches are a staple of the upstate, with South Carolina growing more peaches than our southern neighbor Georgia, the Peach State. Agriculture is the foundation of many interesting festivals in South Carolina, including the Okra Strut, the World Grits Festival, the Rice Festival, the Chitlin Strut, and several other festivals featuring peaches, boiled peanuts, sweet tea, watermelon, shrimp, oysters, and catfish. Now, in case you're watching for the first time, I'm David Crum, and if you want to know everything there is about living in South Carolina, please make sure you subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications. That way, you can be the first to get our new videos each each week. Now let's get back to homesteading. The second reason to consider South Carolina as a great homesteading state is the climate. The Palmetto State blesses homesteaders with a mild climate fostering year-round productivity and cultivation. With an average of 220 sunny days annually and moderate temperatures, South Carolina can be the ideal environment for a diverse range of crops and livestock. While we get hot in the summer, there are many crops that love this heat and thrive in it. Depending on the region of South Carolina you pick, you'll find some winter weather and a possibility of snow in some areas, but there are winter crops that you can grow anywhere in South Carolina if you're committed to year-round production. Take, for example, the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains in the upstate. Here, the temperate climate supports vineyards, producing award-winning wines, and showcasing the state's potential for agricultural diversity. I recently visited one of the tea producers in South Carolina, the Table Rock Tea Company. It was a great trip. My kids really enjoyed it. My youngest daughter brought home her very own tea plant. Now, reason number three is water, the lifeblood of any homestead, and it flows abundantly throughout South Carolina. From meandering rivers like the Saluda and majestic Lake Murray to the vast underground aquifers, homesteaders have ample resources for irrigation and livestock. If you're looking for a large acreage, you can almost certainly find one with a stream or a creek. Larger water features like a pond or lake access may be trickier, but they aren't out of the question. Imagine establishing your own homestead along the banks of the Saluda River, where pristine waters provide not only sustenance for crops and livestock, but also opportunities for fishing, kayaking, and other recreational pursuits. Reason number four is that South Carolina's diverse ecosystems offer homesteaders a tapestry of flora and fauna to steward and enjoy. From the towering longleaf pine forests of the sand hills to coastal estuaries teeming with life, biodiversity thrives in South Carolina. Some of your choices as to where to live may need to consider what crops you'd like to grow and what area of the state that you enjoy and how much differing weather will affect your choice. You can engage with nature and cultivate heirloom varieties uniquely suited to South Carolina's climate. Think vibrant okra thriving in the low country sandy soils or indigo plants flourishing in the upstate's fertile earth. Some of my local favorite produce are tomatoes, cantaloupes, watermelon, corn, and cucumbers. There is such a big difference in in season fresh picked and what you find on the shelves of the grocery store, which would likely ship across the country or even from South America. Reason number five is homesteading is usually a group effort. Homesteading isn't just about self-sufficiency, it's also about community. 
South Carolina's vibrant agricultural community offers support, knowledge sharing, and a sense of belonging to homesteaders of all backgrounds. You can join fellow homesteaders and artisans at local farmers markets like the one in downtown Greenville, where you can exchange tips, barter for goods and services, forge connections, and enrich your homesteading journey. Some farmers markets in the state stay open year round, albeit usually with much smaller offerings in the winter months. Facebook can be a great resource here as well with groups that focus on gardening and living off the land around the state. There's even a new South Carolina's Governor's School for Agriculture, just showing you how much attention South Carolina is paying to this topic. Reason number six, land. I'll start this section by saying I'm a licensed realtor in South Carolina and I would be honored to help you find a homestead in my state. And if that's your goal, reach out. Now, South Carolina boasts an abundance of available land catering to homesteaders of all aspirations. From the upstate to the rolling hills of the Piedmont region to the coastal plains and marshes of the low country, options abound. Consider areas like the Midlands, where fertile soil and ample acreage await those eager to cultivate their homesteading dreams. Counties like Richland and Lexington offer accessible plots, ideal for both small-scale gardens and expansive agricultural endeavors. Soils in the Midlands and Low Country can have a sandy loam layer, which is favorable to many crops such as melons, cucumbers, and carrots. Soils in the upstate or the northwest area can have more clay, and depending on the crop, may need some conditioning. For example, for the first couple of years, I put several bags of soil and homemade compost into my garden to really give it a boost. Now, the soil looks great, and I just add a little compost at planting time. Things are working well. Reason number seven is access to markets. As I mentioned before, while self-sufficiency is paramount, having access to markets for surplus produce and goods can be invaluable. South Carolina's vibrant markets and farm to table movement provide outlets for homesteaders to share their bounty with the wider community. You can even partner with local restaurants like Fork and Plow, where my son works in Greenville. Here, chefs showcase the bounty of South Carolina's homesteads on their menus fostering a sustainable food ecosystem that benefits both producers and consumers. Restaurants like this not only help support the local economy, but treat their customers to an ever-changing menu of fresh choices. Reason number eight, affordable costs of living. Homesteading is a journey of simplicity and sustainability, and South Carolina's affordable cost of living enables homesteaders to invest more in their dreams. Lower property taxes and living expenses can mean more resources for infrastructure and growth. You can escape the urban hustle and embrace a simpler way of life without breaking the bank. Find your slice of paradise in South Carolina's rural countryside where every dollar stretches a little bit further. Reason number nine speaks to that rural lifestyle and it's just that peaceful lifestyle. In South Carolina's tranquil rural landscapes, homesteaders can find solace and connection amidst the rhythms of nature. Whether you're watching the sunset over rolling fields or listening to a chorus of frogs by a tranquil pond, peace abounds. In fact, I just heard recently that the police in a South Carolina town had to go on the news and ask people not to call about sirens. It was just cicadas singing unusually loud since this is one of their boom years. Welcome to the South. I hope you enjoy the summer. With a little work, you can create your own oasis of calm in the heart of South Carolina's countryside where the stresses of modern life melt away and each day unfolds at a pace dictated by the land and its seasons. Now, I'm out of fingers, so this is reason number 10, diverse landscape. Last but not least, South Carolina's diverse landscape offers homesteaders endless opportunities for exploration and discovery. From the mountains to the sea, each region presents a unique canvas for homesteading dreams to take root and flourish. Whether you're drawn to the majestic mountains of the Blue Ridge and the upstate, or the sandy shores of the low country, rolling hills in the Midlands, South Carolina offers a place to call home that resonates with your vision of homesteading paradise. So there you have it folks, homesteading in South Carolina is on the rise. If you have a current homestead in the state, please let us know in the comments how you like it, what your biggest struggles are, and your big successes. That'll really help anyone else who's considering moving here. And remember, whether you're moving in nine or 90 days, I'd love to hear from you and see how we can make your move a smooth one. Until then, I'm David Crumb, and I'll see you around the garden.